I can't recall an evening quite like this. And I just wonder, first, as a human being, whose job it is to document these games, how, how you would describe what this last hour and a half has been like. It's hard, uh, because like you guys have said, this is, a, this is a human being. And all you can really think about is, you know, I hope, I hope that guy is okay. We, we've seen players go down with head injuries before, and uh, as horrible as that may sound, we've grown accustomed to it, seeing guys take hard hits, uh, see them stay down for a little while, get back up, give the thumbs up, and, mm -hmm. and that's all we were all hoping for, was that, that DeMar Hamlin was gonna get up, and that he was gonna get up in that ambulance, he was gonna give us a thumbs up, and we were all gonna know that he was okay, and, and, and when that didn't happen, I think this entire stadium was just devastated. I mean, I mean, right now, all I can really think about is is that player, his teammates, just seeing the agony on their faces, the concern on their faces. They're scared for him right now, and they should be. Uh, we all should be. Uh, but to see them hugging each other, uh, down on their knees, praying for him, his coach, the other team, their head coach, those players, uh, just to see how much unity and and just unified concern that they all had for this young man um, it's been overwhelming there's a pall over the stadium right now uh, like you said Scott you come to work we're expecting to see the game of the season uh, and what we got was so terrible but that doesn't really matter all that really matters is uh, is Damar Hamlin and his family and we just can't say it enough that we hope that he's okay Agreed, as you said, and I, 